What's up guys, the Strong Boys 19 here. This is going to be the next album review for another 2021 release. And I'm going to be reviewing the latest album from the band Korpiklani, entitled Yulha. Now this is their 11th album in their entire discography, and this album is their latest to be released through one of my favourite labels of Nuclear Blast Records. Now when it comes to the very popularity and acclaim grown bands of folk metal, Korpiklani is the number one band that is on the very favourable pick and the main band that comes into my head. As that I had said on numerous occasions that folk metal is one of my favourite genres of metal music. And this album has been one of my most anticipated albums of the year. I will have to say that Zhulha as an album is one of the, the most diverse and uh, a separate aspect of any Korpiklani album. But I think with this album, while they are still at it into their own um, actual signature sounds and vibes here, this album can go in numerous occasions when they can grow things in a bit of a, a separate action of genres to some numerous influences on a lot of these occasions of the songs here. Musically on the album there is so much to really think about because on some of the heavier tracks while they are greatly delivered on some awesome guitar chords some of those riffs sound descending in the heaviness and at a bit of a uh, an actual different type of metal genre. Some of the riffs can remind me on a bit of a power metal, something on a heavy metal sound, and also on to some of the other riffs here that sound very simple but as effective. But not only that, the great part about the album is also the drumming. The drumming on this album are just full of action and as so precise and uh, very rhythmic in its own consistent path that drives the sound as highly well from the start to the finish. A great part about the album is more or less the vocals. I think the vocals are one of the most distinctive things about Korpiklani's music. The vocals on this album are very great in its epicness. The vocal distortions sound they were really crisp, but when it comes to some of the sounds of tracks where they soften things in a bit of a, an acoustic or balladry type of style and less heavier sounds. They can be really melodic and it sounds beautifully portrayed and also the connected sounds of backing vocals that definitely makes things very dramatic and commanding. It highly gels things so masterfully. But not only that, the rest of the band here as musicians, the musicianship itself, the separate solos, the violin to the gorgeous blend on the accordion, these wonderful solos makes everything as controlled but separate brilliant sounds. The production on the album is also amazing and I'll have to say that Corbett Clarny's albums onto the mixing, to the tonality, the distortion from the guitars on the album sounds very big and massive and as well as the pristine sound of the drums to the beautiful and clean sound onto the acoustic guitars and also the nylon strum guitars but everything onto the whole package from the production sounds very well mixed. It's just a brilliant combination to hear everything in full glory, no flaws on hearing something too clean or too polished or just weakly mixed. I think with this style of production on pretty much a lot of Korpiklani's sound from earlier in their career to now, they've been one of the best bands in some of the great punchy and uh, highly amped beefy type of tones. I think this style of production has been an amazing part about Korpiklani's sound. So I'll have to say that Zhulha as an album 
in an artistic amount of creative inspirations and uh, active high freedoms, this is definitely a great album to really digest and to dive into by what Corpo Klani had been uh, very progressing right onto the, the whole creativity of this album. And if I have to find some weaknesses on the album, there are some occasions where I think a few tracks can be pretty forgettable and a less favourable part, but onto the high majority on the tracks that I really liked on the album, they were full of excitement. And I will have to say that this has been one of those albums that I will definitely add in as one of my favourite albums. Personally, I think one of those Corporate Clani releases that will be a massive grower for me, as I will still prefer the earlier ones, but I think this album is, I would say, very close to become a favourable album for me in the first place. And that's all I would like to say on that particular positive high note on Julha by Corbiclani. Also, let me know what you think of this album in the comments down below. So for an album rating, I'm going to give this album an 8.5 out of 10. Well, that's it, guys. That's my album review for Corbiclani's new album. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll keep you guys posted for more videos in the near future.